give great thanks to Reverend Coco Stewart for continuing to hold the space of sacred silence, silence, quintessent quietude, wonderful solitude. We want to thank the Reverend Jason D. Mitchell for giving us our morning reading and our morning prayer so that you are prepared. Awakening and enlightenment come for those who are vibrationally prepared. The process of the way of meditation is to prepare yourself for tremendous insight and a tremendous revelation. Something is revealed to you. And what's revealed to you is something that's already there within you. It's not something that's added on to you. It's a revelation. It's revealed that you are the light. The light that lights up every man, every woman, every individual that comes to the planet, whether it's they or them, he, she, however it is that individuals are identifying themselves. There was a luminosity and a light and a brilliance that is our very life in being. Interestingly enough, we just received the James Webb pictures from the telescope, the James Webb telescope, that went into the galaxies and the cosmos and showed us more than we've ever seen with the naked eye about the cosmos and galaxies hundreds of billions of light years away with the iridescent colors and solar systems and all that we would call the, 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 the cosmos. And it's interesting when you really consider that, that all that we are now catching with the extension of the visible eye through a high-powered telescope, that all that we're seeing without is actually within us. And it speaks to the evolution of human consciousness all the way back from individuals thinking that the Earth was the center of the universe and Galileo and others in Egypt, of course, spoke about the fact that we were circling the sun. The sun was going through its solar system and moving through its uh, galaxy and moving through a multidimensional universe and the cosmos. But you could actually see the evolution of human consciousness uh, uh, from the consciousness of thinking that we were the center of the universe, which was the building of the ego, all the way to the... And therapy is an extension of all of those places, too. Uh, all, all the way through... We were revolving around the sun, which expanded our consciousness a little bit more. The sun's going through this, this solar system, which expands our consciousness even more. And then all the way through uh, galaxies and cosmos, which gave vent to cosmic consciousness. And you can actually see therapy going through that, too. You can actually see years ago where people actually thought that we were just a body and they were uh, accidental mixing up of molecules and atoms and accidentally produced consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> all the way to the awareness that we are aware now that we are, we've emerged from an eternal. We're pure consciousness, and from pure consciousness, matter evolved. It wasn't the other way around. And so when we're looking out at the cosmos now, we actually, we actually have a telescope that can see ourselves. You've heard me say in my a CD transcendence that we are the stars looking back at ourselves. This is not metaphor, it's not poetry, it's reality. And so as you're sitting in meditation, you're preparing yourself for the great reveal. Oh my God, I am that. That's what I am. Now as you expand your awareness and you see that you're not merely a body, you're not merely a mind, you're not merely your possessions, you're not merely your house, your shoes, your clothes, your automobile, your stuff that you accumulate while you're having a human incarnation, that all of that's in your field of awareness. And you enter into a dynamic field of gratitude, you begin to see yourself, as I discussed, as Reverend Coco and I have been teaching the life visioning process on these Tuesday nights, you will have an insight into an awareness that... You're not the thinkingness 
that has the chronic complaint about whatever's bothering you, there comes a moment where you see yourself without that complaint, without that worry, without that doubt. It's chronic. And the moment you see yourself without it, in a moment of a great reveal, happiness and joy is there because there's nothing to interfere with it because happiness and joy and intelligence and beauty is your real nature. It does not come from your ducks being lined up in a row in the human condition. It does not come from having you all the possessions you think you need to be happy. All those things are the added things. Yes, it is beautiful. It is wonderful to take care of your body temple and have a beautiful body. It's wonderful to have a, a place to live. It's wonderful to have shoes on your feet. It is wonderful to be able to be mobile. Have a car if that's if you're living in L.A. Because you'll get a ticket if you're in L.A. without a car. You're walking in L.A. What are you doing? In New York, if you have a car, you get a ticket. It's the other way around. Anyway, I jest to make a point. But your intrinsic nature is intelligence, is love, is beauty, peace. And when the great reveal happens incrementally or dramatically, you suddenly see yourself without your complaint. And happiness is there. And the thinkingness and the complaint was covering up. Now here's the issue. The complaint and the worry and the fear are incessant and chronic, so it overlays reality. And you actually have an identity crisis, thinking, thinkingness, and thinking that you are that complaint. Just ask your friends, what do you complain about most? Ask your friends, what do you worry about most? You might be unconscious about it. It's just, just a part of your conversation. Ask your friends, what do, you, what do you hang out and doubt with about most? And they'll give you some honest feedback. You know, you, you generally complain about this on a regular basis. Or you're generally worried about this on a regular basis. Or you generally have a deep sense of doubt about this on a regular basis. It's not judgmental. It's just an awareness exercise. It's not like you're a bad person because you're complaining. It's not that. It's just an awareness. And then when you reflect with your awareness back on the thinkingness, doubt, worry, fear, complaining, it begins to dissipate because you're seeing it now. You're reflecting back on yourself in contemplation, in meditation, in self-reflection. And those thinkingness, that thought forms begin to dissipate. Now, when you're sitting in meditation, what are you doing? You're establishing an intention to wake up to your glorious nature. Then all of that thinkingness that bubbles up begins to dissolve in the field of your intention and the observation, self-reflection, attention. You have pinprick moments of <gasps> freedom. And then as you continue to practice, those pinprick moments of freedom begin to elongate. They begin to stabilize. You begin to have more of it. So it's not just a pinprick. It's like, it's like a few moments. And then it's, it's a period of time where you just, for no reason whatsoever, you feel all right. For no reason whatsoever, you feel at peace. There's no reason, but you, you feel it, a sense of reverential attentiveness to life. I was thinking about this morning as I was taking my morning shower. I just felt like so grateful as the water was just rushing over my body temple. It was just like, I just, it was just like the basics. I, I get to take a shower. Lucky for the people around me too. But you start to uh, have a deep sense of reverence for the very simple things of life. Very simple things. Sitting, breathing, hugging a family member or a friend, seeing trees, the grass, the foliage, taking a deep breath. I mean, in Los Angeles, there's probably only a few places where you can actually see the air you're breathing, so you don't have to uh, believe in air. You can actually see it. I, I, I joke. <laughs> 
but in truth. You have a reverential attentiveness to life. And so this is why I sometimes call meditation the great escape, because you're escaping from your limited point of view. And this is something I, I want to talk about for a few seconds, because most people are walking around and they're seeing this much of reality. They think this, and then this much of reality that they're seeing, whether it's whether it's coming from the news reels, whether it's coming from parental fantasies, whether it's become from misgivings of religiosity or the societal milieu of fear and doubt and worry, they're seeing life through this limited point of view and then they replicate it because their thought forms are coming from this limited point of view and those thought forms are creating a perception and that perception is creating an experience so they get a feedback loop of, of thankingness, believing that what they're experiencing is real. It's a prison. When you meditate, you're escaping the prison of your mind and you're beginning to see this is why the caged bird sings, according to Maya Angelou. This is why you can be in joy when the whole world is in fear. This is why you can feel that there's opportunities and possibilities all around you when the news media is telling you that there's scarcity of everything because you're not living in that world. You are living, moving, and having your beingness in the presence of God. Now, as I posed the question at our Life Visioning class, who would you be without your major complaint? Who would you be? Happiness and joy, love and peace, because that's who you are. Not poetry, not prose, not sweet sentimentalities, but your real nature. Do not waste an entire incarnation fretting about what's unimportant. Because you will see, at some point you will see, oh my God, I used my whole incarnation worrying about stuff that never happened. And when it did happen, I survived. What a waste. I could have been pulling from the cosmos pinpricks of inspiration shoo, and live the life that I was and am ordained to live. You are a soulful artist. Paint with the colors of your soul. Activate your soul faculty. Live free beginning with perfect stillness. <clears throat> Remember what Plotinus said, and then was later quoted by Dr. Ernest Holmes, to he or she who can most perfectly practice in action, to them, all things are possible. If you can go to the inaction, that perfect stillness, that place where it's already done, to they, them, you, he, she, all things are possible. For all things are possible with God. God consciousness. That's it. Immediately jump to center. Sometimes you prepare and do all of this to get ready to meditate and fidget. Don't. Just jump right here. Feet firmly on the ground, back straight, erect without being rigid, hands cupped, upward, tongue at the roof of the mouth, eyes energetically facing the space between the eyebrows as an activation of the first eye and the willingness to see the invisible, hear the inaudible.
Embrace your vibrational intention. <laughs> to have a realization of your oneness with God, just life itself. Let your attention embrace that intention and be aware that the body is breathing presently, not in the future or the past, but this breath is right here. Be aware that it is a holy and sacred broadcast of the eternal at every point of this cosmic creation. And you are lowly listening to catch it. As if someone was about to tell you something extremely important, your whole body is taunt with availability. Your mind, your heart, your soul, your inner ear. This is the first time you've ever practiced.
maintain your awareness around your intention to wake up to your glorious nature. Who and whose you are. You're an emanation of the eternal. You belong to the presence in which you are living, moving, and having your beingness. Be still and know.
the moment of pure stillness. As we lift up our inner eyes unto the hills which come with our help, unto higher consciousness, which is always beaming love and peace and joy and harmony, we hear, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one. One God, one power, one presence, one life, one mind, one heart, beating with the rhythm of wholeness and wellness and well-being, we see it with our inner eye and are so grateful. We enter into this prayerful moment buoyed up by the perfect stillness, that perfect peace that passes human understanding, and we're grateful for no reason at all, which gives us a myriad of reasons to be grateful. Perceptual windows are so clean and clear that we see as if on a clear day, which is now. Oh, infinite spirit, divine and perfect ideal, mother, father, God, the holy one, the living one, how great thou art. How infinite is thy holy presence, thy divine holy name, perfect nature in us and as us. How magnificent is thy life, which is our life. From this seat of the eternal, seeing the presence and the power and the love of God everywhere and feeling my oneness with it, I have the privilege once again to speak the word for each and every one of us, which is only one of us here. Knowing that there's a great revelation happening in this instant, and the reveal is this. We're free. Wellness, wholeness, well-being, harmonizing prosperity, pure joy, bliss, and ecstasy, a dynamic peace of mind that passes human understanding, the feeling tone of all needs met. There's an onrush of the Spirit eternally happening, and now we are receptive enough and gracious enough to receive it, to accept it, to replicate it, to multiply it, to magnify it, and to allow for our life to be the magnifying glass of the eternal presence. Oh, it's happening right now. Right now. This is a great day. We're launched <laughs> into a magnificent moment. And moment by moment by moment by moment, we stay conscious. We stay awake. We stay available. We stay receptive. 
as the onlookers of the presence that is never an absence. And what we are looking at, this great cosmos we're looking with, we're awake. And it's happening right now. This is a beautiful moment and a beautiful day. And we allow it to be so. And so it is. Amen. Hmm. Welcome to yourself. Welcome to this reunion with the Holy Presence, which is your very life and being. You're coming home to yourself. We are the spiritual teaching that gives you back to yourself. We train masters, not followers. And so we welcome you to this. Thank you for participating in the Way of Meditation service this morning. Obviously, you're invited to the 8.30 a.m. Uh, meditation service and the 9 o'clock worship celebration service. But right this moment, you have the privilege and the honor and the, and the inner uh, generative nature to share with your spiritual community, otherwise known as agape. Take this opportunity to be a giver. Activate your giving muscles, and you'll begin to see that the hands of the givers are never empty. You always have more to give if you develop the muscle and the desire to be a giver. So we stop in this moment, and we give thanks for whatever it is we have to give. We bless it. We, in, we infuse it with love and gratitude. And as we extend this energy into this community, this community continues to birth itself over and over and over again as an instrument of the beloved community on earth as it is in the heart mind of the infinite. And it's happening now. And so it is. Amen. So take this opportunity to be a giver. Don't be shy. Don't allow your ego to take you off into doing something else right now. Stand right here. And veterans who have been giving for a while or you began your giving process, thank you for leaping into generosity. And you probably have many testimonies. And you may want to send some of those testimonies into us. We love receiving them in the mail which allows me to say there's many ways to give to Agape. If you want to mail in you're giving. There used to be a pejorative language of, oh, he mailed it in, <laughs> meaning that he didn't show up for the game. He just mailed it in. But we like you to mail in. We don't look at it as a pejorative thing. If you want to do old school, which is sometimes the best school, mail it in. 8549 Wilshire Boulevard, Suite 1156, Beverly Hills, California, 90211. Make out your checks and money orders to Agape International. All of that, what I'm about to tell you right now, is on the screen for those who are sighted. If you'd like to go to our website and touch the word that says donation, follow the instructions, go to agapelive.com, make your donation online. Texting to donate is really um, becoming very, very useful in, in today's uh, world. Text the word give to 424-321-6243. 424-321-6243. Just text the word give. Your phone will prompt you. You choose the amount and the regularity of your giving. Many of you have set it up now where you're giving once a week or every other week. And that's beautiful because it really helps our CFO and helps our financial committee budget for things that we are doing here at Agape. So we have a sense of, of, of how much uh, flow is happening. So you may want to do that. You can do that right now. If you're on my personal Facebook page, the one that says public figure, or if you're at Agape International's Facebook page, you can give on the Facebook page as well. So there's Facebook. There's texting to donate. Uh, there is mailing it in. And there's the Agape website. So if you're watching this on YouTube at any time, be aware that whenever you watch us on YouTube, you can just jump over to the website or text to donate and support your spiritual community. Thank you very much for doing that. I'll be right back. We do have, who do we have in here? Oh, it's, it's the pr it's practitioner, Dion Raymond. It's going to highlight some of the wonderful things in Agape.
Thank you, Rev, as always, for that beautiful meditation and Dharma talk. Good morning, beloved Agape. We have a few highlights for you today, so visit the Agape website at agapelive.com for more details on all of this. And remember, all times listed are Pacific Standard Time. Soak. When you combine quantum physics with high intentional frequency, you get SOAK, sound frequency therapy, a technology that lifts your vibration, detoxes lower frequencies, and assists in activating vibrant health, peace of mind, and total well-being. That is what you have been listening to and is available to enhance and enliven your meditation. I know I use it. If you want more, sign up at the premium membership level and receive a 50% discount for a seven-day free trial by using the code AGAPE50. Go to SOAK, that's S-O-A-A-K, dot com, click on premium membership, and enter the code AGAPE50. It's Reverend Michael's birthday, everyone. So mark your calendars. It's the Rev's birthday month, and we will be celebrating big on Sunday, July 24th. We want to take this moment to express our deep and profound gratitude for all that Reverend Michael is and generously offers us, especially during these times of profound evolutionary shift. Let us join together to celebrate our founder with overflowing agape love. Don't miss the celebration with musical guests, of course, push-ups, dance, big surprises, and more. Join the fun on YouTube, Facebook Live, and live stream. And are you ready? We will be celebrating in person beginning at 11 a.m. More information to come. Today, Tina Gape, ages 14 to 19, meets online at 11.15 a.m., for info and to register to join, click the Teen Agape banner on the website. Preteens ages 9 to 13 meet at 2 p.m. Children ages 3 to 8 meet at 3.30 p.m. Both are live on Zoom. So to join and get your Agape Youth Fun Packs, email RevLeon at AgapeLive.com. Today... The Agape Wise Ones invites the 50-plus community to experience Expanding as the Presence at 2 p.m. Zoom to view a creative expression showcase, travel shout-out, spoken word, get up and move, plus updates on our activities. Click on the Tawo, T-A-W-O, banner at the top of the page of our website to register. The Crisis Support Clinic offers Zoom mini counseling sessions every Monday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. To receive details for your first come, first serve, complimentary one-on-one -on -one session with a licensed practitioner serving those who seem to be challenged related to finances, relationships, housing, and jobs. Please email crisissupport at agapelive.com. This is offered to the community at large so anyone may attend. Monday through Saturday, we'll see you on Facebook at 8 a.m. for daily prayer and 12 noon for meditation. Go to agapelive.com for details. Agape Spiritual Community Gathering is in session. Join us every Friday at 5.30 p.m. and connect in community for an enriching, inspiring gathering that's led by our practitioners and ministers. Email scg at agapelive.com for more information. And we have Odyssey, Agape's Young Adults Ministry for those ages 20 to 35. It invites you to join them Friday, July 22nd at 7 p.m. Click on the banner on the website to join and contact Rev Arlene at RevArlene at AgapeLive.com for any questions that you may have. Adapt is in. Now, for years, Reverend Michael has taught about the components of a good, healthy living. Our spiritual life is enhanced with daily meditation, affirmative prayer, and fellowship with open-hearted, like-minded people. Our mental and emotional body is purified with study, forgiveness, and high intentionality. 
and our physical body is taken care of with the exercise that fits your uniqueness, proper nourishment, proper hydration, and ideal supplementation. Regarding ideal supplementation, the REF has finally released Adaptazen in partnership with Neutralize. Adaptazen is comprised of the various superfood formulas that Reverend Michael has been taking for years to maintain his health and energy. It's all condensed into one product line, Adaptazen Superfood Greens and the vitamin D3 plus K2 drops boost your energy, mood, and immunity, giving your body temple the high quality nutrients that it needs to thrive so that you can maintain your health to live optimally, especially during times of high stress. Go to Nutrarise.com, click on Adaptazen, and get 10% off of your first order. Peace and blessings, Agape. Thank you, Practitioner Dion Raymond. Appreciate your presence. And stop in this moment and let us give thanks for the overflow of the spirit of the living God moving through all of the individuals tuning in right now that a great tsunami of giving and generosity is taking place for our spiritual community known as Agape International. We bless all of the ministries, the programs, the projects, the staff, the equipment that's coming in for a greater expression of our inspiration throughout the world, evolutionary collaborations, including all of our affiliates. And we know that all needs are met by the presence of God through each and every one of us, and we allow it to be so, and so it is. Amen. So in case you didn't quite understand, practitioner uh, Dion Raymond, next Sunday, the 24th at 11 a.m., we will be open to the public. Meditation service, worship service. We will be celebrating the founder of Agape's birthday. That would be me. And as most of you know, or many of you know, we only have two fundraisers a year of two assist with the ongoingness of our community. One is in July, the month of July, uh, in celebration of the founder's birthday, and then one is beginning November throughout the end of the year in celebration of the anniversary of Agape. So when you come to Agape next Sunday, for those who are in the LA area or close to it, I've got some text, <laughs> some people are flying in, and that's a beautiful thing. Remember, you're bringing in two levels of donations. You're bringing in your normal tithe, however you do that, text to donate, but you're also bringing a birthday gift, not for me, but for the community in honor of the founder, okay? Secondly, you did see the SOAK technology, S-O-A-A-K. You now get seven days free if you've never done it before, just so you can try it. And then if you do sign up, you get a 50% off, got it? We're vibrational beings. It assists you in lifting your vibration, elimination of depression, protection from COVID. All of that is on that. So you, should try, you get to try it for free now. Cool? All right. Now stand up where you are. Oh, one other thing. Please, 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 please sign up for the free e-bulletin that you see. Just go to the website, agapilive.com, and, and give us your email. Then you'll get all of this information, plus inspirational sayings a couple of times of the week for free. But you'll get all this information when you come, where to park, all of that information. You won't have to uh, memorize the announcements. You'll just get it in an email. So if you don't have your email, go to agapilive.com right now so you get all the information on classes, the fact that we're opening, all of that kind of stuff. Cool, you have to ask people. You'll get it right there. Come into the now age. <laughs> Let us sing out. I forgive me. I release myself from everything. Listen to this. I'm tired of the guilt. Guilt is not a spiritual practice. That brings me pain. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Now is the time for me to live. Now is the time for us to let go. The past behind. Let the past be behind us. I see a Ooh, new. I see a new. I'm ready. I'm ready for. I'm ready for the great change, the great transformation. I'm ready. 
I am ready. I'm available. I've prepared. I've prayed. I've meditated. I'm open. Woo. I forgive me. I forgive me. Everything. Everything that I've ever been holding on to. I let go. I'm not afraid to surrender my all. Woo, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready for my change. Woo! I'm ready for Oh, great God of the universe. The living one. Great power, great presence, great love, great beauty, great intelligence. How magnificent is thy holy name. Thy divine nature in us and as us. We go forward in this day with the full breath of the Spirit moving through us that we may anchor the realm of ever-expanding good on earth as it is in the heart mind of the infinite. And it's all happening right now. We give thanks for this and allow it to be so, and so it is. Have a bright and beautiful day. We'll see you at 8.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 9 o'clock for the worship and celebration service. We'll see you live and in person next week. Have a bright day.